Manage Engine AD Manager Plus Active Directory Users At the end of this video, you will know about the Active Directory User Objects Their Most Important Attributes The Purpose of Those Attributes Active Directory User Accounts Users are individuals who are part of an organization or network. Users should have an user account to log on to a domain or a workstation. Each user has a username and a password to log on to the domain. User account establishes the identity and authorizes the user to access specific devices on the domain. Every user will belong to a domain in the Active Directory. Users can be part of one or more groups which can also have users from different domains. Predefined user accounts. These accounts allow access to a computer and also all the resources specific to the local computer. There are two types of predefined user accounts. Administrator account. This is the most powerful user account as it is a member of the administrator's group and has all the privileges and rights in the domain. Guest account. Used to give unrestricted access to the local computer, is disabled by default. All the properties, attributes are arranged under different groups or tabs. General tab. Account tab. Profile tab. Security tab. Member tab. Member of tab. Sessions tab. Remote control tab. Address tab. Dial in tab, etc. With this brief introduction about user accounts, the rest of the session will introduce you to all the attributes or properties of user object and their purpose. Some of the important attributes under the general tab. Object class. This attribute is a multi-valued array. It is published in the global catalog. The user object class is derived from top class, person class and organizational person class. Top class is the superclass from which all Active Directory object classes are derived. Person class contains the personal information of the users. Organization person class contains organizational information about the users, like employee number, department, designation, email, etc. To search for an user in LTOP browser, user the query object class equal user and object category equal person as computers also have users. Object category. This attribute stores the distinguished name of the user. This is also published in the global catalog to facilitate the location of the object in the entire forest and this TN is unique across the entire forest. Name. Full name of the user in the first name. Initials. Surname format. Given name. Same as the first name of the user. Initials. Stores the user initials. SN. Has the user surname. Display name. Has the name that will be displayed in the address book for exchange enabled users. Description. Description about the object could be anything that will describe the user. Physical delivery office. Stores the description of the office like building name or phone number, etc. Telephone number. Used to store the primary telephone number in which the user is available at work. Other telephone number. Contains the list of other or alternate telephone numbers in which the user is available at work. Mail. Stores the email ID of the user. Email enabled scenario. It is an important attribute which will be displayed in the global catalog. Proxy addresses. The alternate email addresses are stored in this attribute. www home page stores the address of the web page of the user or a web page that is related to the user. URL stores the list of websites that are related to the user. Account tab user principal name. The user principal name is unique across the entire forest and is used for logon purposes. It is expressed in name at domain.com format. SAM account name. Also called the pre-Windows 2000 name, it is mandatory for users to log on to the domain. It is unique inside a domain. Log on hours. Used to specify the time during which an user can log on, for each day of the week. Log on workstation log on to. Used to specify the computers or workstations only from which an user can log on to the domain. Account lockout. The attributes that are used in locking an user account are Lockout time 
has the date and time the account was locked out. IG value represents the number of NANA second interval since January 1, 1601. A value of zero indicates that the account is not locked out. Bad password time. This value is updated every time an user enters a bad password or wrong password. Bad password count. This value is updated every time the user enters the wrong password. It indicated the number of times the user has entered the wrong password. Account expires, has the date on which the user account expires, a value of zero denotes that this particular account never expires. Account options. Password last set. Contains the date and time, the password for the user account was changed. If this flag is set, the user must change his password, the next time he logs on. User account control. This attribute helps in controlling the options for individual user accounts. This value of this attribute is a computer value and it determines the following actions. User cannot change password. Password never expires. Store password using reversible encryption. Account is disabled. Smart card is required for login. Account is sensitive and cannot be delegated. Does not require Caribero's pre-authentication. Use DES encryption types for the user account. Profile tab. The attributes and settings in this tab enable the administrator to assign a different and unique profile to each and every user. Profile path. Stores the path to the user profile, that is, the server and the location in that server in which the user profile is located. It is usually mentioned in server name surname username format. Logon script. This attribute enables the administrator to set scripts that run when the user logs in. Home folder. Home folder makes the backup and management of user files easier for the administrator as all the files of the user will be at one central location. Local path is used to specify the home folder that is located on a local system. If the user profile is located on a network drive, the specified drive is selected from the drop-down box and the profile path is mentioned in the corresponding space. Remote control tab the attributes in this tab provide different options for an user to connect to other user sessions via remote sessions. Enable remote control. This attribute enables an user to remotely connect an observer or control another user session. Require user permission. When enabled, this attribute makes it mandatory to obtain the user permission before connecting to a session. Level of control. Specifies whether the user will be able to just view or view and control the target user session. Terminal Services tab. The attributes in this tab enable a specific and unique profile to a user when he she connects to a terminal server or uses a terminal service. Profile Path. Enables specifying the location of an user terminal services profile. Terminal Services Home Folder. Local Path. Used to specify the path to the home folder for the user when he uses the terminal services or terminal connection. Alternatively, the home folder for the terminal services user can also be set on a network drive. Sessions tab. This settings in this tab can be used to specify terminal connection time limits and reconnection restrictions. And a disconnected session. Specifies how long the session should be alive after it is disconnected. When a session is disconnected, all the applications and programs will still be running whereas when a session is ended, all the applications, programs and services will be terminated. Active Session Limit The maximum time for which a session can be active. Idle Session Limit The maximum time for which a session can remain idle. Based on the requirement, when the session limit is reached, the session can either be disconnected or ended. Allow reconnection to a disconnected session from the originating client only or any client machine. Those are some of the important and critical attributes of an user object which not only determine the way the user object acts but also shows the different areas that have to be monitored in managing an user account. Manage Engine AD Manager Plus. Thank you.